Good afternoon. Alex out here with RV Dynasty. Got a special treat for you today. Today we're going to be checking out the 16 mLs. I'll do my best to show you everything around it, but if you do have any questions after the fact, do reach out and follow up and I'd love to tell you more about it. Make sure all your questions are answered. All right, let's do it. So on the back here, really neat. Only place you're going to find a actually built-in patio, not a not a drop-down party patio. So having that, stretching out, looking over some water, maybe rocking on some chairs, pretty darn relaxing. Big, big windows, we'll take a trip around the side here. You got the tandem, big aggressive tires on here. Very cool siding, it's almost uh, looks like wood, which is a pretty darn good look on it in comparison to what we've seen. Uh, you're gonna have a fresh water connection, city water, and a black tank flush. You'll also be having a 50 amp service. You're gonna have your outlets down here. Black and gray poles all on one. Always nice to have one spot. Tank this water heater here. We're gonna be having a Furion in this one. Furion tank this water heater. Around the front here. Back up a little bit so you can see how great these machines look. Pretty excellent, pretty excellent. Got two of your 30 pound extra tall propane tanks here. You got a 12 volt deep cycle battery. Not a storage compartment. So get to your, um, some of your plumbing. Looks like an easy winterization station perhaps. Here we're gonna have an outdoor shower, hot and cold on there. An LP quick connect so that way you can still do all your outside grilling activities. If you got a favorite grill that you like to use. Tons of windows, tons of windows. If you're going to be putting this somewhere, I'm going to bet you're going to have some pretty, pretty scenery. Leash latch for your puppy dog. And we'll get back around to the back here. So these are 29 foot. Some change, I think, coming around 10 inches. So right under the 30 is a pretty nice deal that you'd be able to go to state parks or, or actually be able to just move it around and be able to, to go places without being stuck, parked, if you will. So we'll go through the big slider and... Uh, step right into the mansion and say wow wow looking around you can see you got the zebra shades a big big tv your timber wolf your one control there you can be able to control your lights awning awning lights accent lights water pump tank heaters do you have tank heaters it is enclosed on the underbelly as well There's your bluetooth receiver to use all the sweet stereos inside and out you do got a ceiling fan small thing but huge benefit that overhead loft up there really neat feature good place to be able to put some uh you know kids or, or good storage or anything you really want to use it for you do have a couch you do have a chair as well couch will turn that into a bed for some extra sleeping arrangements the zebra shades are really cool so depending on if you want it light or dark you can overlap or underlap or just throw them all the way up for these great big windows um, into the kitchen here very capable you're gonna have a washer and dryer I mean come on there that's pretty sweet itself you're gonna have a dishwasher an ice maker tons of storage solid surface countertops tons of storage drawers this awesome workstation kind of sink here cutting board vegetable washer um, a smaller tray here as well for all kinds of uh, you know different activities it, it, it's not so much what you can do it's what you can't do and there ain't a lot of it uh, cup washer here you just put your cup on there press it down you're gonna be uh, saving a lot of sponge work for sure overhead microwave you can air fry convection grill I believe let's see here all kinds of good things three burner stove does still have an oven which is becoming more of a rarity nowadays so nice to see that huge fridge got it back up so you can see all of it I believe that's going to be around 17 cubic or 18 cubic feet but super big super nice definitely bigger than a lot of them that you see out there well that does a little backwards here we go all right so we're moving on into the bathroom here great big shower we've got some light can i put some light on here there we go Great big shower, full size shower. I'd say that's about the same size I have in my hall bathroom at home. 
big nice oxygenic shower head one nice touch that uh, you know you won't find out in a lot of places they're pretty darn efficient but they're pretty darn powerful as well they're incorporating a some good more oxygen into your water using less water but but more pressure if you will there's Alex there standing in the big nice mirror medicine cabinet you can put all your stuff in there all right lots of storage in the bathroom which is a huge benefit I know a lot of bathrooms can get crammed and not have storage but having a place for your toiletries towels and such is, is super beneficial battery disconnect kind of tucked nicely below there perfect spot for that trash bag basket or uh, maybe laundry hamper if you want to put that in there here you're gonna have all your fuses and breakers uh, it also is gonna have all kinds of auto detect for lead acid co2 and, and some different emissions so working our way back out here see the bench seat in here or the boot the dinette big big capable kitchen you can really do everything in here so then we'll go up here we'll check out our uh, our master bed up here we're gonna have our loft you have our fireplace tons of storage queen size bed super cozy and comfy and you'll have a perfectly good look at the, the window down here you got windows on the side as well really great stuff but that is really the all of it and um I do appreciate you taking the time to hang out and, and tour this with me. If you have any questions, please reach out and ask. Uh, you can give us a call over here at RV Dynasty. My name is Alex. Look forward to talking with you and helping you out as well. But uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye, everybody.